Call me in Magadei, or don't call me at all. For once upon a time, I was lost in the rubble of choices you made available, and the man in the mirror was but a stranger, and I had to look at you to remember who I was, but not anymore, for I will no longer forcefully swallow the pills you have prescribed, frown my face from within and then give you a smile, I will no longer choke on the words you have spit about me. I will purge them all and drain me of the rain of your stigma. I will no longer speak ill of me. I would only sing my praises. I won't walk slowly with my head down. I will own this stage and keep going till I'm done. For whose report shall we believe? The one who hides behind shadows but disguises as an angel of light? whose words are slippery slope delivered in the hisses of a snake, or the one who has called all men unto himself, made the heavens and the earth but chose to live inside of me. I will not wallow in the pit of pity you have dug for me. I will jump right through till I'm right in front of you, eyes glued to yours, for though I may be rocked by many crises, my identity is not one of it. So call me Imago Dei, or don't call me at all, for I am strength. Like the deep-rooted Iroko, my source is my bone. My genealogy shows how far he came, perpetually plotting, devising strategies till he won me over. I am sweet, like the droppings of an overripe mango. I may be messy, but he cannot let go. I am obvious as the Ikuku. My where to and where from is oblivious to you. Sponsored by the spirit and at any given time, Elijah level can be activated. I am opinionated, like a mind made up. My foundation is built not on Mary or Kay, but on the solid rock. The solid conviction that nothing can ever take me away from his warm embrace. I am wealth, the literal trust fund baby. He bankrupted heaven for my sake, gave me his inheritance. Now I am a joint heir with Christ, rich in righteousness. I am the sound from the beating drum. Your bashes only make me ooze perfection. I took after the one who was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. I am the purple in Ube. He bled so I can drip royalty from my very being. No wonder this crown sits perfectly in my head. I am the rock, the mountain and the hills. It is impossible to get me on my knees. I am the tales you tell by moonlight. Only well-cooked words can best describe me. I am me. I am Imago Dei. So call me Imago Dei or don't call me at all. atmosphere of God, dead bones come back to life with a loud thundering and rattling. Lazarus comes forth, that which was now is, and with ease there is a rising of an army of low spirits. In the atmosphere of God is liberty, joy, freedom of expression, a reckless abandon. There is a dance, a tune, a song, and a tongue. All for him who knows no bounds. In the atmosphere of God, fear, it gives way to cheer. Your tears are welcome. You are welcome. Well, come, all ye that are burdened and heavy laden. Come, all ye that are weary. Come, 
in the atmosphere of God is a sanctuary, a haven before heaven. You step in and there is refreshing, a feasting, brokenness is made whole, and even the broke, they chop bellyful from his abounding bowl. In the atmosphere of God is ascendancy over the flesh, is beautiful exchange. We boast all the more in our weaknesses that his strength may all the more be made perfect in us. In the atmosphere of God, no disease is uncurable, no sin is unforgivable, no error indelible. There is an awakening, revival, deliverance, assurance. Uh, power in abundance there is anointing there is leaping weeping reaping there is receiving preserving and adorning awaiting a breaking a knowing a making a dwelling a leaving that you cannot earn there's a feeling till overflowing there is a leaping in wombs that bear witness that the king is here in the atmosphere of God is kindness, goodness, holiness, newness, stillness, rest, weightlessness. In the atmosphere of God is grace, hope, favor, there is courage, there is mercy. Into me he sees intimacy, prophecy. In the atmosphere of God is might. Sight, light, delight, fire, ignite, it burns, but we are not consumed. A whisper, a prayer, a psalm, a poem, a reminder, there is a nudge, an instruction, identity, reconstruction. This is where you are found, in this atmosphere. There is an innumerable company of angels. Valleys become mountains. That which was out of grasp you can now attain. Before the Father is spirit and the Son, impossibility has never won in this atmosphere. We surrender on bended knees. We are always in awe. In the atmosphere of God, there are no words, just God. All things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small, but you, you are most blessed of them all. For since before time began, you have been at the center of God's plan. Once mere mortal, now the Lord from unapproachable glory stepped out of heaven and entered your story. Through you, he declares his omnipresence. You have become a living portal the home of God eternal. You are God's chosen one, a royal priesthood, a peculiar nation, sealed with a promise so remember your guarantee. You have backing, you never walk alone. For if the same spirit that raised Jesus resides in you, it's time to place those benefits in view. Within you flows the breath of God, so breathe in, breathe out with your voice call alive everything that is dead it's just another Lazarus with the light you carry illuminate the world give darkness no room to thrive for you are Bethel the city of holiness again you have become a living portal and no no these are not the days of Elijah this is your day so stand tall with power and call down fire.
This is how we fight our battles. With our hands lifted up like Moses, we surrender to the sovereignty of our King. We know that as long as these hands stay up, the battle is already won. This is how we fight our battles. We who were once citizens of a strange land, now part Red Seas, wear our God on our sleeves, lift up a banner so all who sees are drawn to the light. We set the captives free. Pharaoh, let my people go. This is how we fight our battles. With our head between our knees like Elijah, we keep praying till we see literal clouds gather. We keep praying till Peter come knocking at the door. We keep praying till our sweat becomes droplets of blood and like Jesus we go from Lord if possible. Let this cup pass over me so now is the hour and the time is now. Let's go. This is how we fight our battle. Like Jehoshaphat, we come dressed, showing up in our Sunday's breast. Our spears and armors are convictions that if God be for us, who can be against us? This is how we fight our battle. We refuse the king's meat. We stay true to the cause, even in front of the fiery furnace. This is how we fight our battle. We stand before kings and negotiate for generations. This is how we fight our battle. With a dance like David, we move our bodies in reckless abandon. Every peculiar people, it says, called for to show the praises of him that has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I want you to lift up your voices wherever you are as priests and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to stir up this atmosphere. It is my time. Sombrata kapore mataya. Sepelika paratele metonza. Repelika sapelia. The Bible says, Thou will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is now. This is my time. This is my set time. Lift up your voices and stay up this atmosphere. Repe Santa Capaya. Rapa Sepeli Matongrete. Ripa Sapa Reketaya. Rasa Pratakaya. Reze Retatata. Rapa Capale Metaya. Anzende Lima Caparia. Sepelete Matongrete. Inzerata Bali Capai. Era Sata Paya. Rapa Capate Matale Matai. Rebe Sambrata Kappa, Rebe Legon Zebrata, Riba Kapalete, Raza Brata Kappa, Arande Sambra Kapelete, Ingre Sabrata Pare, Ribe Sobrata Palikaya, Azabrata, Repa Cambraton Zemina, Ribe Lanta Sate, Arabaka Parekete Limatai, Azambrata Lemataya, Rebe Lika Palate, Sambraton Zenematom, Riba Lanta Sate, Kabaraton Jacarate, Ribata Prate Kumze Lataya, Andelingo Santa, Ambrata Kapai, Areba Sabrakata. The Bible says, Beloved, build up yourselves on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Listen, stir up this atmosphere. In this atmosphere, anything good can happen. Anything good is possible. Rendon Sete Manta, Reba Kaletai, Sabrata Kapanda Limato. Rei stombrate le makaya, rabata brate sabra kapali matai, rabashata kaya, rekapala tare matai, ri sombranta le mando, sembrata brate, seperiata krate, seprata brata, kaparata brata la payata, inde sombrata mba, kaparande le makaya, asebrete kapaya, ri papa papa pa, arada palata la mate, indre Zombrata, Rika Pale Karotaya, Seprata Kataya, Rabata Brate Limataya, Anzele Mandali Mataya, Rebele Katunda Leva, Ripa Sabrata, Cabrate Liparadaya, Ande Sombratelia, Ande Susanataya, 
As you pray in tongues, be conscious of the presence of God. Be conscious of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Riparande sanitai, arapalande limataya, allegrata saprata limataya. Listen, God is here and you know it. God is here and you know it. God is here because you are here. Seprata liata, kalwarande limete limakaya, sabrata librate, kembrata sabrate limataya, alebrata sabrate, riba bande limakali mataya, seprata likapai, himbrata sabrate lima, riba barate kaplondes, rebelenda sata limakaya, raba sabrata, karande sabrata lingrataya, sele balingrata, alab. Ratale kapumbeliata and repa de sande limatai in selimakalepa repete kaparataya as a brata kate in brasam brata lamaya arata kapalenia sempre de limakala and zende limataya kaparade seprata kaparande lemekaya sempre de ligon sete limataya kalabrata saprakata kepareta senia ribatam brata Kapalendre matanze le maya rebelenga sabreta kelebrata salikaya asabrata le makalia anderika paletaya sepeli matando brata declare it this is my service this is my service this is my service leria tare kapa sepeli matande le makaya separata anzenia ripa bande santande le mataya. Setetetetekaya, sebeli matongre tepai, sombrata prende limato, sebrata le kata, ripa bampe le matong, sambrande le makaya, rasa brata bratelia, sebelente le matande le maya. Seperata ka rebelen brata senia raba sabrata ya alekrata sasa sale kaleria talia ta kalabrata zandalim brate embrata sambrande kapo rebelim brata sandelim akaya sele kaleria taya sebelen rematade riba bambande kanal Nendon sene mantali ataya, reza braka palia, rabata kaleri atanda, zebelete kaprong, sambrante limata, riba baba reya, seriata riata, ele kaprata limata, sembreta limatombia, sabarata kapa, regete brete limata, insene manda limato, rada barata sase, liparata lenkrate, insele kaprate le. Karate, sepatariata, asabrata kapa, tebrata sanzele matai, arade leme libaya, asene matai, arata kaprate linga rote, zelia kaprate, sabrata kapa, ribatan rematai, engrasende limatai, ribarate kariato, ezerende limara. Reza rakare arande li kapali ataya sebelete le mataya rabata brata ala brata sambrate elementare mata ele brate ndrata ka kiparate riparate ripara sente rimato keparote kapali ensande li mata da je 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 eza rata ta 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 se je je ke bali ataya. Sempre manta reka sabarata kapa rabata bandele mataya inzene mandrom zenia ribata rate sabrata kapa ya rebelende santombria sombra kapa lia karia shereka bande zene mataya shonda balande ribataya shata braka tale barata sentele mentele mentele mataya. Shapa pare de 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 de, arata pale kamandes, erata pale matande le meya, elata parata le geti ataya. The Bible says your bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost. Because you are here, God is here. Because you are here, the atmosphere is there for the miraculous. Say retire because you are here. 
glory is here in abundance power is here in abundance stir up some more stir up some more pray in the holy ghost shatta reka paya samprata brandele makaya celebrata linga tombia sebre bete prete prete liata samprata brandele makaya seleke rita rata sabrande kapandele matongia Sapalendre matale kapaya Sabrata kapa Rebele kombrata brante li mataya Sebrande le me kombrate Sele kapilates Sembre tolo matendia Ande sande le makalia Asabrata kapa Regetele brata la mataya Sebele tele matombriatas Selebele ke tele mandas Riban brate ke mbale tele mataya Sete ke pele ke telia, shata parade ke pele me telia, apare me tele me tombra teli mataya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say this service is for me, right here and right now. God is here. His power is palpable. His glory here is incredible. Heaven is here. Angels are here. And because the temples of God are here, there is power in abundance. Do you believe what you say? The Bible says your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so we have the Holy Ghost residing in everyone here. Glory to Jesus. Say because I'm here. The glory of the Lord is here. The glory of the Lord is in abundance. There are miracles in abundance. Tonight, lives are changed forever. Do you believe what you said? Say tonight, lives are transformed forever. Say God is here because I am here. Say God is here because I am here. Say God is here because I am here. here say tonight God has a word for me and I will receive that word say tonight my life will be transformed if you believe what you've just said why not rejoice because you know after this meeting it will be evident that you have been with God can you bring the Holy Ghost wherever you are Aruto Boko, Yada Baratabala, Yada Bahako. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew strength. We have come this far, and to God alone be the glory. Shato Moria Sada Bahari, Yada Bahako. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. O Zara Bahato Seli Mahato Boko. Emperor of the universe, master of the same, to you we bow, to give you praise. Oh, 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 the universe Ooh, master of the same To you we bow To give you praise Lift your voices. 
It says, now God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs and aprons were brought from his body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits went out of them. Glory be to God. Is this a testimony of your life in this meeting? I want you to envision two things for me, because there are two things that God will do in this meeting. First of all, you can envision yourself as those who had sicknesses, and as the apostle was moving from place to place. Healing came. That's powerful, isn't it? That as Apostle Emmanuel Uren comes up, every sickness in your body leaves. That's powerful. But now, God doesn't just want to heal you. He wants to make a healer out of you. So in this meeting, he will heal you and he will make a healer out of you. In this meeting, he will deliver your family and he will make a deliverer out of you. Are you ready tonight? Lift up your hands like they carry power and say, Father, tonight, I'm ready. Do with me what you want. Make a healer out of me. Make a testimony out of my shame. Make a deliverer out of me. Say in this service. I'm going to give you a moment to take a breath. Say in this service. I expect and I receive a mighty display of your power and glory that will last me for a lifetime. That will last me for my generation. So your power is here because I am here. And tonight, as apostle ministers, I contact the graces that you have destined for me to contact. Can you pray like you came to church for a reason? Jesus, do with me what you want tonight. You didn't take leave from work and show up on a Friday night through traffic just to come and see other people be blessed. You came to contact something for your generation. My case doesn't have to be called out. All he has to do is step on the podium and pick the mic. Him so sise, if indeed, like I learned today, I'm a portal and a priest. After tonight, let the presence of God be evident in my life. Zominta kaseke tumono kita. Yet and better, Kesu 
I will not leave the same way I came. Round up a tear. Power in abundance. Gifts in abundance. Miracles in abundance. It's okay if you came for a miracle. You will live here with it and some more. Hey, somebody. The graces of my life are multiplied. I'm expecting tonight. I'm expecting tonight. Heko team and a ketokopoya. No one had to tell the woman with the issue of blood. No angel had to appear to her and say, This is what to do to receive your miracle. She came with her own ideas because she was expectant. Let Kairos meet you prepared tonight. Hey, support teketo. Randa basiga tekepelete. Some of you have dwelt on this mountain for too long. As apostle ministers, the grace and the speed needed to move forward. Even long standing issues have an expiry date. And for your family, that's tonight. For you, that's tonight. In Acts 19, Paul's shadow was healing the sick. But just 10 chapters later, in Acts 9, people were running away from his shadow. What can God do with your life? What changed? Let tonight be such an encounter that makes a deliverer out of the one who was previously oppressed. That when they are numbering those who saw Jesus resurrected, they say, Mary, that's one from whom seven demons were cast out. I don't know about you, but I step into my full destiny in Christ. I don't know about you, but the aggressions that need to be communicated to me tonight, I encounter them on every level. Let this be that meeting. That launches you from mediocrity and obscurity into the light of God's assignments, into the announcement of God. You have one more minute to arrange your destiny in the place of prayer. You better make it count. Ooh, Satabala. Why should they say when they look at you, is there no bomb in Gilead? Let your life be a testimony. That the healing power of God works. Hey, tonight, I declare that the testimony of Celebration Church is a testimony of my life, of upward and forward movements. You sent a man of God to me. I'm aware. I know it for sure. I will not miss it. you one question and I hope by God that you give a resounding yes because it doesn't matter who has said no one yes from God is all you need CCI Lagos God has something in store for you tonight he has sent a man to you there are angels on assignment my question to you is are you ready can you shout a louder yes? Say, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hallelujah. Please confess with me tonight. Minister Abel Jomo is in the house. I'm hoping our team can just come up and get organized as we take our confessions so that we can call her up and receive our ministry in one minute. How long can you wait? 
Hey, say this moment is my moment. You sound like you need some convincing. Say this moment is my moment. This deeper is my deeper. Say tonight, as Apostle Emmanuel Iran ministers, miracles take place. And God makes a miracle worker out of me. Activations take place. Impartations take place. Say graces on my life and the life of my neighbor are multiplied. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I'm a portal. My heart is open and I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Say the word of God, which is quick and active, takes a hold of me. You can move around a bit and say, I'm moving from where I am to where I ought to be in the name of Jesus. Say grace is upon my man of God and upon this house. Find full expression in me. Say the gifts of God on full display and I'm a partaker. Say there is power in abundance. I'm a distributor of that power. My expectations are through the roof. My hunger is palpable. My heart is ready and I will be filled to, to overflowing as the word of God is taught today. I receive it with joy. Do you know what joy is? Say, I receive it with joy. As apostle ministers, I receive him with joy. Say, all that God has for me, I receive with joy and rejoicing. Can you do as you have said? Celebration Church Global Online and Lagos tonight. Please celebrate and welcome with me the ministry of Minister Abe Otomo. Let's do it the CCI way. Come on. Come on, if you have a prayer language, can you raise it up? You have come not come unto the garden of men, men. You have come to Mount Zion. We are not alone. We are not alone. I I pop up to come back one that's got the other. My God, my God. A fellow in Antalya. She get better than Tatiata. Come on for the NS expectation of the righteous. They can put a lot of white that will attain. She can paint us. I need you to approach the throne of God with brokenness and a contract act. He says, even the Lord cannot resist. Come on, come on, come on. We have not come out of the garden of men. We have come to Mount Zion. And he says, upon Mount Zion, and they belong those kitty We need a back up on the sky. She get that back up on the bay. I think it is the death. Like on the I get it guy. My God, my God. How excellent is thy name. How beautiful are the works of your hands. But Philemon, don't give the scatter. Blessed be God, my strength. Who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight? For the earth is the Lord's and his fullness thereof. The world and those who dwell therein. For he has swallowed it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. Who shall climb unto the hill of the Lord? Who shall rest in his holy place? He who has a clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to what is forth? He shall receive blessings from his God. I read to from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who do not get no for an answer. I take him for you a pilot. This is the generation of those who seek your face, O oh Jacob. So lift up your head. Oh, ye ancient gates. And be ye lifted up your everlasting doors. And let the King of glory come. Who is the King of glory? I really meant it. I won't go to die. I feel it to his God. So just says when the Lord moves the mountains move. He says when the Lord speaks the nation shall lay down. At the breath of his nostrils, demons tremble. A pillar, pillar, I tell it to him. He says they go from strength to strength. Every one of them must appear before Zion. Come and register your parents. I 
for to devil side. Yeah, tell Jesus says, Can the nation be born in a day? Can the sickness go in a day? Can the 23 years problem go in a day? He says, As soon as Zion understand the mechanism of traveling, he says, Immediately they can bet. It means that a long standing issue just need to appeal him. A billion He says, And Jesus prayed, not until he felt good, not until he said, hard. He says, Until the person of this continent, come on, somebody do not stop until you look like him. The telecopa.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord of hosts, the King of glory, Yahweh Sabao, Yahweh Sabao. The Lord of hosts, the King of glory, Yahweh Sabaoth, Yahweh. The Lord of hosts, show forth. I say thank you, Father. <sighs> Come on, I say thank you, Father. So are you ready? Please help me celebrate Minister Abbe. It's a blessing to have you around. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So there's a prayer I want you to pray from your heart. And I'm not going to motivate you to pray it so that the descending will pray as led. Say with me, Father. In my life thank you for making your angel spirits and ministers flames of fire just thank him 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 thank you Sima no kopai, surap the fristo, sheme no kopai. Sima no kupili kuri kitu si, zu. Sama no kupele mo, teve ne mo kai. Rana mano vina kaya, zina moko feyo, hey yeah. Rano beruta, so yeah, yeah. Kaya kai 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 kai, come on them, 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 Na mano ko bili da hai, yeah, oh, kai, 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 kai. Sombre sete ke pele ko presate ke presotre kapal. 
Tapira to fera kapalia, reto vele mandre kapele tondre kapaya, sete kabalaya. He makes his angel spirits ministers flames of fire. I acquaint myself with the angels of my destiny. I acquaint myself with the angels of my assignments. Le parando grace pele kori kapai. My eyes are open to see. My ears are open to hear. My feet are ready to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. Look at that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to teach as fast as possible so that we'll give the Lord enough time to move. Because if I don't stop this now, I won't teach. And the teaching is necessary. Amen, somebody. Just squeeze the hands of someone by your side. Father, we thank you. We're ready to receive all, all, all all that you have for us. Thank you, Lord. Instruct us by your word. Leave us better than we came. Make us doers of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Um, I'm not exactly happy tonight, you know why? Ask me why. Because <laughs> what I want to teach took years to learn. And the Lord just so wants me to teach it this night like that. I almost told them to turn off the stream. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So remember what we started with this morning, right? Talking about Eden. And the fact that there have been several Edens, several portals, divine portals, divine embassies, through which God interacted with man. Where is Eden today? You believe that, right? Yes, sir. And that there are angels ascending and descending, not just on the Son of Man, but in you. 
God has made you an envoy of his glory and of his presence. Say loud amen. amen. And so there are protocols of your new location. Things to know. Things to understand. And I want to tell you this with all sense of humility. That if you learn what I'm teaching you today, your life will change instantly. Instantly. You see, there are things that happen in your walk with God and you will never be the same again. If you encounter the Lord, you will never be the same again. If you encounter an angel, you will never be the same again. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You never. Some encounters will never be one off. It just launches you into a new dimension. Launches you into a new realm. It's just like when your ears become open. You can hear God. You will never be the same again. You see in the realm of the spirit, you will never be the same again. Some things immediately improve the quality of your work with God. Immediately. And so now, the writer of Hebrews in chapter 12 is making a contradistinction between one of the Edens of the Old Testament and what we have now. And he's talking about the experience at Sinai. And so in Hebrews chapter 12, he says that you have not come to a mount that can be touched. You know that, right? Come on, answer me. You know that, right? From verse 18. Or that burned with fire, nor to blackness and darkness and tempest, the sound of trumpet, the voice of words. So listen, the oppression of God has moved. I told you archaeologists are still looking for a literal Eden. Meanwhile, it has changed. There is no such place. You have not come to a mount that can be touched. You are not looking for a place that has longitude and latitudes. Are you listening to me? It's no longer a geographical location. There is no physical mount. So, what have we come to? In verse 22, it says, But you are come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to what? Come on, I want response. And to what? An innumerable company of angels. Listen, this is your new environment. Angels without numbers. Are you listening to me? I said angels without what? They cannot be numbered. Uh -uh. So many angels and you have not seen one. At least one. And he's letting you know, oh my God, the fact that you don't know doesn't mean that that's not your location. He says you have come. He's educating you about your new address. Say that with me with confidence. Say I have come. He didn't say you are coming. He says, I have come to a new address. Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of, of what? So you must know how to walk with them. You must. They're there for a reason. They're there for a reason. Look at Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, a popular text. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Oh my God. Everybody read together loud as again. One, two, go. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who who will inherit salvation? Listen, oh my God. So he says, angels are ministering spirits sent. Why? Or for what? To minister for those who are heirs of salvation. Listen, it means God knows that your work in Christ cannot be accomplished without angels. It cannot be done without angels. So he made a provision. Are you using it? If you didn't need them, he will make them available. They are ministering spirit sent forth 
to minister for those who are heirs of salvation. Any such person in this place? So, so say, listen, say we walk together. The angels of God and I. Yes, yes, yes. Say it again, I acquaint myself with the angels of my assignment. Thank you, Lord. You see, it changes the game. You know, I remember there was years ago, the first time this happened, <laughs> service had started. I was putting finishing touches to my notes. And someone was opening the office door to come and see me. As he opened, I saw someone <laughs> standing outside the door, but I only saw his stomach. He was that tall. And the person must have been wondering why he, he was the one who came in, but I wasn't looking at him. I was just looking. And then after I was done studying, two so angels showed up in front of my table and said, we're ready. There is a different confidence with which you will minister when that happens. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Are you ready for this? This will be heavy. You are as effective in ministry to the degree of your ability to work with angels. This is what measures effectiveness. Especially if your ministry is supposed to travel wide. Let me tell you something. You cannot have, for instance, a proper apostolic ministry without angels. Let me tell you. You know, I've said this before. I know some of you know. Every day, someone dreams about me. Every day. Someone is getting healed in the dream or getting delivered in the dream. Or get, because the work is enormous. Members around the world, how do you want to do it? Well, thank God they are ministering spirits. Send forth to minister for those. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. This, my friends, is one of the biggest secrets of my life. It makes the work so easy. It makes the work so easy. As in, when it's time to go to a new territory, angels go. First, when I knew that the work was about to start in Ghana, I started receiving DMs from Ghanaians. My name is Kofi. I, I have never seen you in, my, in real life before. But I dreamt, and I saw you. You laid hands on me, gave me these words. You, you know, I know you are my pastor. I think about that. Are you listening to me? Your life is about to change. I said, you will never be the same again. <laughs> I will give you four keys. Four, because of time. There are four keys. If you walk these keys, you will encounter angels. It turns out it's not a mystery. If you know. Four keys. You will. There are things to do. It's just, it's, just, it's just the same way. A herbalist, if he's traveling, he wants to relocate a shrine. He knows how to relocate the demons. Because there is a technology. When he puts the tent in a particular way, maybe to face a particular direction, and they put some idols, put some chalk, make some sacrifices. There is a technology, and the spirits fitted for that architecture will come. There is a way to attract spirits. How can Habalists know, and God's people do not know? The saints of old knew. When you want to talk to God, there, there is an approach. There's a protocol where Habakkuk can say, I will stand upon my watch and see what he will say. I know how to get him to talk to me. I know. There's a protocol. Mm. 
And it's also very easy when the person teaching you has walked in it. Because it's a privilege in God to say, Lord, open his eyes. Hallelujah. So get ready. Your prayer time is about to get a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is some of you have encountered this many times you just didn't know you know the bible says for instance in the book of job job chapter 4 i don't know the verse maybe 14 or so the media team can help me it says a spirit passed by me and the hair in my body stood you've experienced that before haven't you something just What's that? Like, <laughs> 15, right? The spirit passed before my face. The hair in my body, or my body stood up. There's a way to know. You have to understand sight in the spirit is not always by eyeball. You can know. You can know. When I used to be more adventurous in school days, I will ask, I will call some of my people, I will say, okay, where are the angels here? Here are God in his faithfulness. Sometimes, to make it more interesting, he will just do something. So there was a day I was talking to Pastor Mike, and an angel just stood in between us. So I was looking to see if, if he would pick it. And he just kept quiet and said, sir, I feel the presence of God. I said, oh, you're getting it. Almost every miracle is angels walking behind the scenes. Did you hear what I just said? This is the secret of the generals in the Bible. Almost every miracle. These this strange signs. I think in one of, one of the devotions I showed you how, for instance, the pillar of fire was an angel. Who remembers? Who was there? The pillar of fire was an angel. So the Bible says, when the angel of the Lord moved from the front to the back and the pillar of fire moved, it was an angel because he makes his angel spirits and ministers what? He walked with angels all the time. It was an angel. It was an angel. What great man of God in the Bible didn't work with angels? None. This is, a light, this is a game changer. Are you getting me? Hmm. All right. So, four keys to activating the ministry of angels. Number one, are you ready? Very simple. Reverence for the Lord. You want to see angels walk in your life? Revere God. Listen, I'm not talking about being religious. I'm not talking about coming to church. I'm talking about true, genuine reverence. This one is a game changer. A man who honors God is irresistible to angels. The moment you begin to put structure in your life, for the reverence of your king, you have created a conducive environment for angelic ministry. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter if you've read the book on angels or not. It doesn't matter if anyone has explained it to you or not. Let me give you a perfect example. Think of Cornelius. I'll give you two texts on this. You know, one in the Old Testament, one in the New Testament. You think of Cornelius. Cornelius wasn't born again. He wasn't full of the Spirit. He most likely had never read a book on angels. Never. But the Bible says he was a pious man. Are you listening to me? It says, and one who feared the Lord with his household. Are you aware there are a lot of churchgoers who you can't say this about? 
And that's how come someone who had never been to church at the time saw angels, and many people in church haven't. Reverence. 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 Just, just the fear of the Lord. It's a heart issue. And it is demonstrable. It will show in your actions. But it's a heart issue. Let's read some text so that you see it. Acts chapter 10 verse 2. The Bible talks about Cornelius, a devout man, one that feared the Lord with all his house, gave so much arms, I'm coming to that, and prayed to God always. He was in a vision, evidently. Now about the night hour of, uh, of the day, an angel coming to him and saying to him, Cornelius, I, my God. <laughs> Has an angel called your name before? You know, I told you, <laughs> the first time it happened like this. I'm not talking about hearing in the spirit. I mean the way you are hearing my voice now. And <laughs> nobody taught me. Nobody taught me. Unfortunately, there was no ally to say go back. <laughs> uh, and I was in a dark room. Just imagine, oh, there was light since morning. God didn't call me. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I'm in a dark room all by myself. And suddenly, it was clear that I responded out. I thought it was someone in the house pranking me. Because just like Samuel, it sounded like the voice of a man. Well, it looked like the person was whispering and called me a name that only close family members call me. So I called my sister. I said, uh, you're playing games with me. I heard the voice again. By the time I heard it the third time, I ran. I ran away. <laughs> I ran away. See, you don't know how blessed you are to have a teacher. I missed a big opportunity because there was nobody to say, go back. Don't be afraid. Well, do you know what it means for, for you to have an ally to say, go and lie down again? And if you hear him call you, respond this way. It will save you a lifetime. You know, there are some encounters if you miss. It will take you 15 years. Because God is a king. He won't work with your calendar. He will come when he's ready. There are some encounters, if you miss, you go and consecrate yourself again, another five years. Are you listening to me? <laughs> You're dealing with the king. You can't say, okay, okay, I'm ready now. Uh. <laughs> you, 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 you have to be long-suffering. There are some things you will miss, you will, beseech, you will, you will, you will have to beseech the Lord with tears. Please, are you listening to me? He was a devout man, feared the Lord, and then he had an angelic encounter. Look at Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. Are you there? Everybody, read together loud as you can. One, two, go. Read it again, one, two, go. What does this text say? The angel of the Lord encamps around those who go to church. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who read the book. It says around those who fear him. It's just reverence. And the consciousness that there is a God to whom you will give account. That's all. The consciousness. The moment you begin to do that, you are attracting angelic encounter. Nobody had preached to Cornelius at the time. I'm telling you. <laughs> he had never been to a church service. But just by the modus operandi of his life, it attracted. Reverence. Put structure in your, in your life that reflects reverence. People argue all kinds of silly things. Be a person of reverence. Be a person of reverence. Just practice it. 
And let me tell you, in the things of God, better safe than sorry. Just learn to put some gauges, some guards. Let me warn you, when it comes to men of God, don't just open your mouth. Wow. Are you listening to me? He won't share this testimony, so I will share it for him. Pastor Nath told me a story. Uh, he loves me, so you forgive me. He told the story. His friend, Pastor Mark, William McDowell, they wanted a new property. They found a big property. They had saved up money. They wanted to buy it. But because there was one politician around who just hated church, he said, over his dead body, will they get that property? So, so, you know, because, you know, there are some people that say, oh, because you have church, I can talk to you anyhow. Who do you think you are? So, Pastor Nath was passing, <laughs> was around, and he said, please come, just come and... So they just blew the trumpet, said a few things. <laughs> Listen, make of this story what you want. But according to what happened, weeks later he died. The man died. And the church moved into that property. I think it was four weeks later. The man died, they moved into the property. The church moves on. You know what the Lord said? The Lord, I was praying and the, the, the angel of the Lord came to me and said, the time is coming for the restoration of the fear of the Lord. You see, yes. let me warn you, this generation will learn. Yes. This generation will learn. <laughs> see, if you are not sure, keep short. And if you must talk, keep it strictly biblical. No attack on character. Keep it strictly biblical. Because the authority of the word of God is greater than the authority of the man of God. I don't give you hack now. <laughs> so keep it strictly biblical. But you, you know, you can be right and in trouble. <laughs> you have argued correct, but now you're in trouble. <laughs> well done, theologian. <laughs> now, <laughs> you're, now you're in trouble. And the man of God need not say anything. He doesn't have to declare anything. There are some people, the moment you touch, you are, you're in, wait, God appears to a king and says, you're already dead. Oh, you don't know? You are dead. I'm not trying to scare you. It's real. The same way Pastor Nat won't share his story, so it won't look somehow. Me too, I have stories I can't share. <laughs> ah, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. You want to give blogs gist of it. You see, let me just say this. The God of Celebration Church, I fear him all. The, the pastors know. <laughs> just, you don't like us, good. Be very careful. <laughs> so please, what's number one? Please practice reverence. Practice honor. Practice honor. And, and let it be general. You know, these things are there in the word of God. The Bible says, don't fail to entertain strangers because people in so doing have done what? Encounter dangers. 
So just be a person of honor generally. Reverence attracts angels. There, see, when you're a man of honor, let me tell you something. Okay, Abraham needed an encounter, right? But God didn't come to his house. God did as if he was passing. If he was not a person of honor, he would have missed it. So the fact that it is yours doesn't mean it to God will drop it on your lap. God will t- give you the honor test. He will, just, he will just pass. He will just pass. Just pass in front. And then, as if it wasn't part of the plan, Abraham will now say, please, just stay. Let me honor you. You know, say, eh, okay. Reverence. Remember, I shared a story years ago when I was teaching on this. My first encounter with an angel. Let me see. This one was just small because sometimes you'll be amazed in the realm of the spirit when you finally see an angel or spiritual things. You don't really get a lot of information. God just wants to show you. He's preparing you for more. Some of you know what I'm saying. You just go. He just shows you a glimpse and then you come back. It's a very funny story. I'm not proud of it because, you know, but news flash. This was 2006. This was when. Uh-huh. So don't judge me. Then I was learning how to fast. You know. <laughs> you know, and I tried several times and it didn't work. So one day, and I'm going to talk about this, declaring words. Angels run with words. That's, I'm coming to that. I just, I don't know what made me do it. I just stood and I said, today I'm fasting and nothing will stop me. I said it out. But I had an exam that day. And the exam was supposed to be by five. It will last till seven. And I started rationalizing. Ha, let me not go and fail you. That if this hunger should cook me there. And I determined I was going to, I initially had said I was going to break by six, but I started rationalizing. So by 3 p.m. thereabout, I went to the cafeteria. Now, this is what happened I will never forget. In the cafeteria, there were about four of us on the line. Three students, and there was this woman, it's strange. She ought not to be there. She wasn't a student. What was she doing there? And she, she didn't dress well. She just wore one humble clothing that you would despise and held one ugly cooler. <laughs> so, listen carefully. Now, the person selling, out of honor, seeing that she was an elderly person, stretched his hand for her ticket. And the young boy, you know, you know, James, you know, you know the young boy in front, you said, What's the meaning of this? You can see there's a queue. Why are you, you know? So the sales girl said, okay, sorry. Gave the woman back a ticket and took his ticket and sold to him. Sold to the person in front. When it got to my turn, I said, oh, no, please. But for that simple gesture, I would have missed an encounter. So now she, she said, thank you. And she said, you want to buy food? I almost gave her true pass. Thank God for home training. <laughs> I almost said, no. <laughs> I want to play ball, you know. <laughs> I for enter wala. This life. I want to, you want to, you want to buy food? Yes, ma. And she looked at me. I thought you were fasting. So, honestly, at first, I didn't get it. So I first laughed. Ah! You know? And <laughs> you said you won't judge me. Oh, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> See, I was slow. I've come a long way. This is not the worst part of the story. I'm just starting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I still chop that food. See, that I'm here is a miracle. <laughs> See, if I made it, you can make it. <laughs> See, for some reason, I was slow. Maybe it's the hunger. Do you know 
I foolishly still bought my food, went and sat down. So, as I was about to eat, the whole picture just came. It must have been supernatural. You know the way you see it in films? I thought you were fasting. I saw myself laughing like an idiot. <laughs> and she was looking into my soul, like, there's nothing for me. Why are you laughing? I tell you the truth on that God. Now, I tried to look for where she was, and I remembered the weird part is the last place I saw her walking towards, there was a wall there. It made no sense. And I, and I said, hmm, that's deep. That's, that's, that's very deep. <laughs> See, ah, oh God. Mercy, Lord, mercy. <laughs> ah, somebody, you are putting your hand on your mouth. You said you would judge me. <laughs> anyway, I've learned. See, angels ascend and descend in my bedroom. I've, I've come a long way. <laughs> oh, God. Every time, you know, every time I think of it. You know when they say, Something in your past you are ashamed of. That's one of <laughs> Because I, I was so foolish. I said, huh. I might have seen an angel. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Onga, now your mate. Onga, don't slap you before. <laughs> I can tell you one, this one thing for sure. If you are a person of honor, you will encounter angels. You know, after a while, I became smarter. Do you understand? The next time I saw one, we were playing a game, like, I will catch you disappear. So, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Very dramatic. And they were laughing. Do you understand? They knew what I was doing. It was funny. And there were people there. It was during Shiloh. It was during Shiloh. I'm telling you, every major camp meeting, not everybody is a human being. <laughs> you guys, come on. <laughs> you guys joke too much. You they check whether you don't go toast angel. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Just remember what happened in Sodom before, before you do like this. <laughs> Some of you don't understand that Bible joke. All right, let's move on. So number one is what? Number two is oh draftiva treco teleco prastogelato frestigos. So now, laugh will be sensitive, okay? We are getting deeper now. Now, listen, I was explaining the technology of the Old Testament temple, and we said that there was an outer court and an inner court, then the most holy place, right? And then the most holy place in the ark, the mercy seat of God. And if you look at the pictures, Above the mercy seat, there were two angels with their wings open on each side, opposite sides, touching each other by the tip of their wings. And under the mercy seat was the tablet of the commandments. And so that tells you that the cherubs and the angels in general they guard the word of God. Are you with me? They guard it jealously. And if you want to see angelic intervention in your life, become committed to knowing the word, obeying the word, and doing the word. What I just said is very simple and powerful. Become committed to knowing the word, obeying the word. See, the moment you become a doer of the word, it gets them excited. It gets them excited. 
Because now you've given them something to work with. You've given them something. You, you get them excited. They respond to the word of God. And so when you, when you do the word, you've given them something to work with. Please, are you with me? This is not for all people. This is strictly for doers. Doers. When you, when you go, take audacious steps in the word of God, they will go with you. They will go with you. They will go with you. So you have to, do a, you have to be a doer of the word of God. Look at Psalm 103 verse 20. Psalm 103 verse 20. Hi. Oh God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Everybody, Psalm 103 verse 20 together. One, two, go. Bless, bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his what? Heeding the voice of what? Heeding the voice of his word. They heed the voice of his word. I can tell you one thing for sure. If you learn to speak the word of God, speak the word of God. Speak the, say who you are in Christ. You want angels to go on your behalf? Learn to talk. Talk the word of God. Know it. Obey it. Talk it. Speak. 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 How God anointed Emmanuel Aaron with the Holy Ghost and with power. He goes about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil. Because God is with me. God is with me everywhere I go. He walks with me, confirming his words with signs following. Her. These signs follow me because I believe. In the name of Jesus, I cast out devils. I speak with new tongues. I let on fresh that echoes the rivers. The reason when you confess the word of God, the atmosphere in your room changes is because the angels of God respond. That's why. That's why. You, now you have their attention. Oh, there's work to do. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Come on, are you with me? I want to give you a few minutes. Talk the word of God. 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 Huh, no wonder your angels are sleeping. See how you are talking. Is this how boring your devotion is? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ay, 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 ay. But my God, I run against a troop. I leap over walls. Nothing is impossible to me. Every single prophecy over Immanuel Aaron will be fulfilled. In my lifetime, I will see the glory of the Lord cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. I'm stepping into a new season of grace and glory. By the mercy and the favor of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just saw a vision now and it reminded me of something that happened. Years ago, there was an application I was making for a ministry I was running then. And it took an awful long time. And one day, I just felt a stare in my spirit. This is a prophetic moment. I felt a stare in my spirit that this was not ordinary. So I began to declare. And I said things like, in the name of Jesus, the angels of God, they carry this folder from table to table. I just felt a stare to say that. And when I was done praying, I fell to sleep. But this is strange. This was the first time ever it happened to me. I was asleep. My eyes were closed. But I could see the room. And a young man walked through the door. Oh, Jesus. Are you listening to me? Walked through the door, bent down towards the bed, held my shoulder and said, we've done what you asked us to do. Ladies and gentlemen, two days after, two days after, it was done. I sense that move right now. Listen, this is a prophetic moment. So what is it you want the Lord to do for your family? Ask according to the will of God. Ask according to the will of God. Don't waste this opportunity on frivolous things. Ask according to the will of God. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Angels move. Look at 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 angels move. Please, today I want you to do the work of a protocol. If someone is falling by your side, just help me catch them. Look at angels move. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Now in the name above every name, come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your evidence. The Lord has granted your petitions. Your testimonies are coming days from now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sorry. I try not to be sensational, but someone is falling into a trance now. Falling into a trance now. Falling into a trance, and there are secrets of your family being exposed right now secrets of your family 
and the Lord is announcing your deliverance. I announce your deliverance. I announce. I announce it. I announce it. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. The siege is broken. The siege is broken. Help me declare over them. Say the siege is broken. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We have a lot to cover, so we have to try. So, don't worry. Just leave, leave them, leave them, leave them. We have a lot to cover. Please be seated. Let's, anyone under the power, just leave them. Whew. Jesus. 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 Lord, pull it out. Pull it out. I have to finish quickly, otherwise. So, the next I want to talk about is prayer. Is what? Look at Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. Te paludri kapa. Hendom brese teke palondri kapila. Runde le pele te gida. Listen, if you don't have a prayer life, you don't know what you're missing. Oh, what needless pains you bear. This is the word of the Lord. Then he said to me, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before the Lord your God. He says, your words were heard and I have come because, I have come because of what? Angels are coming because of your words. I am telling you, you will say some words in prayer that will make angels knock on the door of your home. You will make declarations and utterances that will make angels visit your village. He said, I have come because of your words. What if you knew that when you pray, you're not just speaking into thin air, that angels, they respond to your words. They respond. They respond. Are you listening to me? Do you believe that today? Now listen very carefully. I'm about to explain a great mystery to you. Because one of the things that will happen tonight is judgment. Are you ready for that? Judgment. Every false god tormenting your family will be judged tonight. Get ready. So I will explain a great mystery and then we'll pray. This is the type of session they call do it yourself. I'm just loading your gun so that when it's time to release. Eh? Let me tell you something. Angelic activity is very real in my life. There are some stories I can't tell. If I tell you, you won't believe. There are some things I've, I don't think I've ever said before. I have misplaced things that I found under my bed. <laughs> don't worry. If you can't, maybe in five years' time, we'll talk about this one. You know what I taught this morning? I taught it for the first time, 2011. I was an undergraduate. When I was teaching it then, they were looking at me very confused. So I said, I won't teach it again until the Lord permits. You know, so there are some teachings that are for later. <laughs> Imagine me explaining 
the cherubs in the inner court with the flowers, you know? They were lost. They were looking at me like this. 2011. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready for this? Very quickly, Psalm 104 verse 4. Psalm 104 verse 4. Are you ready for this? Everybody, read together one to go. Who makes his angels spirits, his ministers a flame of fire? Read again one to go. Who makes his angels spirits, his ministers? Some of you have heard my story. This, is, this was the turning point of this ministry. I was fasting, studying my Bible. All of a sudden, I lifted my head and I saw fire in two different places. What is this? And I looked again. They turned into beans. Then they turned to fire. They turned into beans and turned to fire. And I was confused. And then the voice of the Lord said, because your ministry is expanding, you will not have the luxury of ministering to everyone one-on-one. On one. He says, but when you begin to minister, these angels will go into the crowd and have expanded the effectiveness of your ministry. So it was like a rod the Lord gave me. I had to fly in from Abuja to test it. <laughs> and I said, I won't lay hands on anybody today. And as I was there, the Lord gave me a song. So I sang it for the first time. Like the stars of heaven shining in abundance. The glory of the Lord reveals who I am. Like the stars of heaven shining in the darkness. The second verse says, No one lights a candle to be put under a bushel. The glory of the Lord reveals And then that, so who was in that meeting? OG is in this place. Okay, a few of you, a few of you. I was 2019. The total attendance of our ministry then was 500. Now 15,000. How do you handle, how, how, do, how do you fat on that? I'm telling you the origin of that growth by angelic ministry. And as I was talking like a magnet, there was someone at the middle of the hall. Something pulled him and he began to roll towards me. He, he was rolling. I didn't have to touch him. It dragged him forward. <laughs> and I said, it's over for the devil. Because he makes his angels and his ministers do you know it was later I, I remembered this text and I connected it that, oh, sure enough. But here is the part <laughs> that you must get ready for. Are you ready? So you know that there are different types of angels. In fact, there are some types of angels, so-called types of angels, that are not exactly angels. When you say cherubim, are they angels? When you say seraphim, are they angels? Depends on how you want to classify it. Because they are definitely very different. Very different. I assure you, if you see a seraph, you will never be the same again. I can promise you. Dalepo <laughs> Trekapaya. There's so many things I can't say. But are you ready for this? 
The word seraph means two things. It means two things. Number one, it means burning ones. It means what? Literally, they burn. They burn. And that's how come they will appear to me and all I see is fire. That's fire. Fire. Burning ones. <laughs> and so when the prophet said the Lord that answers by fire listen to this you will step into another dimension of the prophet, prophetic if you learn this simple hack it's a confidence it was not a gamble it's just like that encounter. It wasn't a one-off. It wasn't one-off. So from that time till now, anytime I want to minister, I know how to get my angels ready. Are you with me? And so when you encounter stuff like that, it's with confidence. You, you can bet with it. Me, I flew to, from Abuja to Lagos to test it. And so the way Elijah decided to go about his own was to do a contest. The Lord that answers by fire, let him be God. Dear brothers and sisters, that's the ministry of angels. Are you listening to me? So that's why, you know, there are some denominations. You may not really understand their theology. You may not like their theology. When they call fire, you know, I am wondering, you know, you Christocentric believer, you're wondering, is this doctrinally accurate? But they are seeing miracles. I'm explaining why. And let me tell you something. This particular type of angels I'm seeing, you can never see them and remain the same. Now, let me tell you this. When a seraph appears to you, it is either you repent or you are judged. You either repent, you are judged, or your life is changed positively. So there are three options, okay? And, and it is easy when you judge yourself so you will not be judged. Isaiah found himself in the presence of one. and said, woe is me, I, I'm undone. <laughs> you know, there's something we used to do as children. When someone is trying to abuse you and you abuse yourself, it just douses the effect of whatever they want to say. Yes, I know, I'm short, I'm ugly, I'm here. You know? <laughs> he said, woe is me! I'm a man of unclean lips. And now, when you do that, the seraph comes to you and touches your, coal, your tongue with the coal of fire. Because you see, you have to understand, the reason they burn is because they dwell in the presence of God and it is their responsibility to protect the spiritual sanity of that throne room. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. And you see, grace people will struggle with this. There are certain atmospheres where you must say the right thing or you'll be in trouble. <laughs> certain atmospheres. I've given you Old Testament example, right? Isaiah, right? I will give you Gospel's examples. Zechariah. What do you mean, how shall these things be? Okay. You will not talk. You see, there are things about angels you don't know. It is true that by our position in Christ, we are higher than them. But a messenger of God on, on errand is powerful. He can act on behalf of God according to his discretion. Okay, you'll be dumb till it happens. And by the way, he didn't need to say that. Go and read your Bible very carefully. You know the same thing happened with Daniel. The Bible says <laughs> when the angel appeared, Daniel became dumb. He put his head to the ground and was dumb. Go and read your Bible well. It was until the angel of the Lord touched him, his mouth opened again. There are, there are angels when they appear. 
<laughs> when, when they say fear not, you think it's just salutation. <laughs> you, you think it's bros are yellow. <laughs> when they are, <laughs> are you with me? Under certain atmospheres, Ananias, Sapphira, tell the truth. It's not always like that. It's not always like that. But there are certain atmospheres. Under the anointing, someone asks you a question. Where were you? Ah. <laughs> Just talk up. Say, nah, me. <laughs> are you listening to me? Ah, if you don't understand what I'm saying, don't worry. <laughs> no, you must understand, though. So you, don't, you, so you won't learn the hard way, okay? So under certain atmospheres, just own up. And when you own up, the Lord will heal you. He will purge you instantly. But if you don't, judgment. Okay? But this is, they are, they are sent to minister for you. Never forget this. Sent to minister for you. And so you, have, you, you also need to learn to use this to your advantage. So they are burning ones. Listen, you will call to, the God and, to God and you will answer by fire tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Are you really ready for that? The other name, the other meaning of the word seraph is actually serpent. Is actually serpent. Okay? And sometimes, if the Lord opens your eyes, don't be surprised. Around the throne of God, there are several animals. You are aware, right? Are you aware that most cherubims look like animals too? And so the Bible says, this is also the judgment function of those particular angels. I'm explaining what is about to happen to enemies that won't just let your family go. The Bible says, the children of Israel strayed, so snakes came, fiery serpents came and stung them. And the reason they were called fiery is because when they sting you, the effect is like fire. Throughout your body, it's like you, there's a burning sensation. So it's another manifestation of the burning ones. And they operate for judgment. Are you listening to me? And they respond when you pray. <laughs> the days of Elijah, that particular manifestation, you're going to see it tonight. If I tell you stories, you will say amen louder, but at least just say amen. amen. Some people are about to see a writing on the wall. You've been weighed, measured, and found wanting. Because sometimes God gives time. It's time for repentance. But what, when you won't let God's people go, and there must be something. Something must happen. Let me tell you a quick story. I was preaching somewhere in Ekeja, and I saw a vision. Very weird vision. Sometimes the prophetic is weird. So, ah, can I tell you this? I will tell you. And forgive me, if it sounds strange, just move on, don't worry. In this vision, I see an insect, a weird insect, inside a lady, draining her blood. So how do you say that prophetically? How, how do you say that? So I tried different tactics. <laughs> so I said, there's someone here, your blood, you're always short on blood. Come out. 
Nobody responded. I was sure. Do you understand? So I moved on preaching. And when the Lord wants me to say something, he won't let me move. It's like he's showing me my face like this. No, you go talk up. You go talk up. You don't So I said, there's someone here. You're bleeding. You have a hemorrhage. Come out. Nobody came out. So I went on preaching. In that service, I now saw Pastor D texting. I was about to get angry. In this sacred atmosphere, why are you texting? I didn't know that it was a lady texting her saying, I'm shy, it's me, you know, and all of that. And so Pastor D responded and encouraged her to come out. So she came out, I laid hands on her, and immediately the vision became clearer. I saw her, can I talk? Okay, I saw, okay, let me use legal language, allegedly. I saw her mother and auntie were witches, and as their contribution, they said, we will put this technology to be contributing blood. Don't, don't worry, scientists, don't worry, don't worry. I'm ignorant, Jerry. Don't mind me. What do I know? So I laid hands on her, and it went from 10 over 10 to 2 over 10. All right? Instantly. So, but what I saw was still annoying to me. So, <laughs> I don't know if you remember, so I called, I called one of my friends. And I said, this is what I saw. I'm angry at this lady's mom and auntie. This is what I saw. And he said, eh, you know, you've taught us. You will pray for their forgiveness. You know, they'll be saved and everything. I said, okay. <laughs> and then I think just two hours after that conversation, this lady was sleeping in her bed. The same supernatural thing I explained. She could see her environment, but her eyes were closed. She heard the door downstairs open. She heard footsteps on the stairway. Go, go, go. She heard the door of her room open. She saw someone walk to her in the bed, touch her stomach at the navel, and then instantly the blood started again. So I called my friend, I said, consultants, uh, now what do you suggest we do? He said, fire them. Fire. <laughs> so today is according to your permission. You know, Bob, you know, I mean, you can wait. <laughs> wait now. You know, you know, there are some witches. They will kill uncle, kill auntie, kill children, kill five cousins, kill. Then they will repent. <laughs> Anyways, do it yourself. So it's whatever you want and you will flow with the leading of the Holy Ghost. But all I want to let you know is that, hmm, 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 hmm. Time is fast spent. Can we get into work now? Please stand to your feet. Number four, don't worry. I will do it. Let's, let's get this over with. This is the main part. Or can I quickly give you number four? Yeah. All right, you are very wise because you don't know how the service will move. Acts chapter 10. You guys are funny. That's, that was very funny what you just did. Acts chapter 10. Back to Cornelius. A devout man, one who feared the Lord with all his house and gave much alms to the people. He did what? And prayed to God always. He saw in a vision evidently about the night hour of the day an angel coming to him and saying to him, Cornelius, when he looked, he was afraid. And said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, thy prayers and thine what? <laughs> 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 
thine prayers and thine arms have come up for a memorial before God. The burning ones over, over sacrifice. Are you listening to me? I'll read a story. Remember the story of um, Samson, when Samson was going to be born? The Bible said Manoah did something. Look at Judges chapter 13, verse 19, very quickly. Mano, um, Judges chapter 13, verse 19. This is a great mystery. I can tell you one thing for sure. Before Christ, after Christ, especially by the leading of the Spirit, sacrifice will never get out of fashion. Don't let any theology deceive you. Are you with me? It has been abused. In fact, there is some generosity that is ungodly. I'm, what I'm telling you is biblical. When one of the servants of David went through war just to get him a cup of water, when he came back, he couldn't drink it. He couldn't drink it. There are some gifts you can't take. And anybody who has a conscience will know that. You know that you shouldn't go to a university and raise a seed of one, one million. You know that. Anyone who has a conscience knows that. But what the devil does many times is he strawmans this argument, uses the extremes so that he can push God's people away from the principle. Are, are you listening to me? So I'm mentioning his name again. I happen to love the man a lot. The first time I saw Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, the first time I saw something strange I've never seen before. I saw bags of money that have left him, but they were still connected to him by strings. The, the, the prophetic can be strange. I see it in, you know, and a voice saying, behold, a man of sacrifice. So now, this man doesn't know that his generosity is speaking for him in the heavenly realm. Are you listening to me? I didn't know anything about him, about his giving culture. This was my first time seeing him, and that's what I saw. A man of sacrifice. That's, that's what heavens were screaming about him. When I now began to hear, I said, oh, okay, okay. You know, one of the times I went to see him, he pointed. He said, this block of flats, I'm building for these people. Gifts. <laughs> that's what, there's some people, you touch them, you're in trouble instantly. You don't know. You... <laughs> <laughs> Judges chapter 13. <laughs> what? What is it? Am I missing something? <laughs> Judges chapter 13, from verse 19. So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it on a rock unto the Lord, and the angel did wondrously. Listen. This is a teaching for another day. Let me tell you something. Are you aware? Are you, will you forgive me if this sounds heretical? Are you ready for this? Your angels can get more powerful. There are things you will do that will encourage their ministry to be stronger in your life. The Bible says they excel in strength. There are things you do. So... <laughs> The moment they offered that sacrifice, the Bible says, the angel did wondrously, and Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came to pass, when the flame went up towards heaven from the altar, that the angel ascended in the flame of the altar. Are you listening? <laughs> hey, Bata Kabaya. Class don't end. There are dimensions of power 
And I dare say manifestations of the Spirit that will go with our parents if we linger with some silly arguments in the church. Let me say this. By the grace of God, when I started teaching that if you don't tithe, no devourer will devour you, I did not know. I didn't say there was nobody. I did not know anybody else teaching it. I didn't know anybody, any single person. So I believe that generosity, it must be free will and all of that, but it's efficacy. You see those days of sacrifice where you come home and there's no TV in the house. Daddy, where's the TV? Oh, we gave it. Some of you grew up in houses like that. Prophecy has brought you to where you are. You want to change it for your children. There are some arguments you must never involve yourself in. You know, I told, told, there, are some, there are some arguments you will never see me contribute. I have no contribution. Let me say this to Tommy. Imagine someone says that, uh, that, ah, you're not ready. No, no, no. He knows what I already want to say. Has God blessed you in strange ways before that you can't explain till you did? Feel a bit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. there, are some, there are some arguments I see I'll just be like, oh, you have a point I won't contribute Because if I contribute, angels will appear and say You are an ingrate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are an ingrate I have seen money that I, can, I cannot explain till date Do with that information what you need. I have seen, let me tell you something, I've seen very sound arguments against miracle money. Very sound. And I, when I hear it, I say, hmm, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no contribution. I am not qualified to contribute. <laughs> So can we pray now? I like that. Increase the volume. Increase it. Just stay there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I had this song online and I really like it. You who dwell in the midst of the cherubim shine forth you who dwell in the midst of the cherubim shine forth you who dwell in the midst of the cherubim shine forth He who dwells in the midst of the cherubim shine forth. You can leave that key now. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubim shine forth. He who dwells, oh my God, look at this. Can I tell you what I see? Can I tell you what I saw now? Angels are like stats now. <laughs> All right. We established this morning that you are a priest. And that you stand before God on men's behalf. I want to give you a few minutes to do priesthood over your family. Listen to me. How can someone practicing negative spirituality go to some altar, make some agreements on behalf of your family? Then you, then you, child of the living God, you can't undo it. It's not possible. It's time for a contest. The God that answers by fire. Oh my God. I said, the God that answers by fire. I said, the God 
God that answers by fire. Let him be God. Begin to pray right now. Break, break, break. Every plant that my heavenly father has not planted. Azuzu atele abele rute kepele akotele mandokaba. Fire! 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 Satalerwa esete kepele runde le minikabaya. said I have come on account of your words on account 
of your words. On account. Listen to me. Listen to me. I see the rod of the Lord stretched against sickness. Stretched against sickness. Stretched against disease. Right now, by the angels of the Lord, from the left to the right, everyone called sick, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every strange ailment, every ailment caused by demon spirits, tormenting spirits, strange movements in the body, secretions, growths, sleepless nights, right now in the name of Jesus. That fire that we spoke about and that we learned about in the word of God. Let it descend and consume those diseases now in the name of Jesus. So right now from the right to the left of this hall, I'm going to count to seven. One. Two. Three. Four. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. For every one of you standing in for a loved one, standing in for a family member, I announce to you the Lord has heard your petitions. The Lord has heard your petitions. I said, the Lord has heard your petitions. I said, the Lord has heard your petitions. Every spiritual problem disguising as evil coincidences, natural negative coincidences, they are exposed and destroyed. I said they are exposed and destroyed. Listen, I just saw this now. Please, I usually won't do this. But I see in a vision, there's someone, an x-ray confirmed there is a hole in your body somewhere. Hole, I see a hole, an x-ray, especially recently. Run forward, I want to lay hands on you. Run forward. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then go by. Which one of you is coming from this side? Which one of you is coming from this side? All right. Thank you, Father. Now, in the name of Jesus, if I did not guess and the Lord revealed this to me, let the Lord confirm his word with signs following. 
let the Lord confirm his word with signs following. Let the Lord confirm his word with signs following. There's a sacred, look at that. Let her go. from here I'm not talking about everybody I'm praying for everybody you have an issue with one of your ears where is that person come forward close to me come forward now no 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 uh, I said see can be everybody I mean someone here someone here okay that's fine don't worry I'll pray for everybody the power of God will hit you wherever you are I found the person I'm looking for. I found the person. Thank you, Jesus.
that person out to me. Bring that person. I'm hearing something. Bring that person. Touch. Be healed. Crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Enemies of God are judged tonight. Judged tonight. Judged tonight. God flows through you. Touch! Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Ich aus Hesten. Jesus. No, look at me. The enemies of your peace judged. Right now, in seven counts, let the power of God flow through you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, touch! The enemies of your peace judged! 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 Liver, 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 liver alone. Angels bring her back. Angels bring her back in seven counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring her back. Bring her here. Hey, hey, hey. Don't leave. Don't touch her. Angels. Uh, uh. Angels bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. Bring her back. I will deal with this protocol. Bring her back. Bring her back. Come before showing you. Holy 
Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Take it in Jesus' mighty name.
Listen to me. When are you receiving your testimony? Thank you, Lord. I give you a few minutes. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. Thank God for it. of your life the angels of your destiny excel in strength and because of that you go from strength to strength every negative prophecy over you is cancelled to someone there the verdict of death is cancelled Is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Oh. Now in the name of Jesus. You step into your prophetic era. These angels that you learned about. Begin to walk with them. I'm talking to everybody, but I'm talking to someone here. In seven count, someone in the middle, receive it now. Touch in the name of Jesus. Help her. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Give him praise, somebody. It's called a note of victory. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, miracles are happening right now. I'm telling you, miracles are happening. Miracles. The angels of God are on assignment. They're standing on business tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There is a WhatsApp group I heard about. You form that WhatsApp group to pray specifically for me. I'm not saying you, you and your friends just pray for me once in a while. Oh. That WhatsApp group that prays for me, all of you come out. You will look around. Anybody that is not in that group, you will evict them. The Lord said to do this. Should I tell you how I discovered you people? There was a day I traveled to preach. I was tired. I couldn't pray. I couldn't pray as I should. And as I was coming down the elevator, it was as if someone increased the volume. I felt glory rise. And by the prophetic, I knew they are praying for me, praying for me somewhere, you know. And so I asked someone, and they confirmed. First and foremost, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you for standing with me. 
Thank you for praying for me. Let me tell you something. You have saved this ministry many times. Look at me. And now, your reward is here. You have watered, be watered. So I stretch my hands from the left to the right. Everything that you have honored in my life is activated in yours. And so glory is rising from your legs right now. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Listen, there is one of you, I see you enter into my armor. That's what I see in the spirits. Enter into my armor. Every gift that prospered on account of your prayer, you begin to see it in your own life. Every blessing that came on me on account of your prayer, you begin to see it in your own life. Jesus. By the anointing that backs this ministry, I call you blessed. Amen. What you have done will never be forgotten. Amen. And your reward will last 120 years. Amen. You will pass it to your children like a baton. You will pass it to your children like a heritage. Amen. Let every dormant gift come alive. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Do the impossible. Amen. Hey, I see the Lord ask me to say this. Your pocket is blessed. Amen. Doors are open to you. Amen. Ah. You will not lack support. You will not lack defense. Amen. I call you blessed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me tell you something. You people are amongst the most important people in my life. I don't know whose idea it was. I don't know who started it. But I want to say a big thank you. And I want to say, let me say, say this. More than ever before, I need you. Continue to pray. Thank you and God bless you. And here's what I'm going to do. For as many of you as are in Lagos, I would like to pray with you physically. Do you understand? So if we can find a small venue, maybe one of you will talk to me. We'll find a small venue. Once in a while, we'll pray together. All right? Um, thank you. God bless you. Um, nobody will join this group. Yes. You can form your own. The reason I'm saying this is because this particular group, I want to know every one of you personally. I just want to know. Thank you. God bless you. Return to your seats. Hallelujah. All right. Please be seated. We're going to close in a few minutes. Please, do we have the video ready? Remember, Jehovah Bu Onyoma, Naibi Mai Agiriga, Asiri Hapu Nasiu Toka Baba Efendu. Hey, Jehovah Bu Onyoma, Naibi Mai Agiriga. Praise Him in advance. Come on. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are great. You are greatly to be praised. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are great. You are greatly to be praised. Just the instruments. I want to hear you now. Give him a dance offering right now. <laughs> Lord, you are 
countries how the economy is you must really love Jesus to go out of your way in this period may the Lord reward you may the one who birthed this vision reward you may the angel of this house visit you you Lord so thank you thank you thank you some of you your giving challenged me I thought I was generous <laughs> until some of you um, like I told you uh, we're doing okay but um, God is going to work a miracle tonight and in this period hallelujah now the good news is um, we have until December I think I announced in December that we're going to give like three times right so this is number two. We'll do one more time. I believe that three will be enough. Be, or, or am I insulting you? This one is enough. Okay, please show the video. I need a spokesperson to just explain to us what we see here. Good evening, everyone. Um, so, the land is 19.9 square meters. That's 4.8, 19,000 square meters, 19,900 square meters. That's 4.8 acres. Actually, everything you see here is not entirely for us. We are going to t yet. The plan is to get everything. Um, the whole thing. So what she's saying is that the portion for sale now is 19,000 square meters, but there's opportunity to spread more. That sounds good, Abby. Let's enter first. You know, promise one style. Yeah. So, um... Okay, so we have to pay at once about three billion give or take agency agreement in one week. We have to pay at once about three billion agency and agreements in one week. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the plan is to use this place for a boot camp this year. So if the tent we plan here is going to seat about 8,000 people, that is just the 19,000 square meters. And there are other things that God will use us to do on this land and when we expand. Hallelujah. Okay, so praise the Lord. Everyone whose hearts the Lord has stirred. Um, between you and the Lord, please make a pledge and um, uh, try to make it. Now, those of you who can do it at once, please do it at once. We're actually paying in the next one week. You know, amen. Um, so the details are there, but some of you who need more time, that's okay, spread it. But please, only spread it if you need to. Only spread it if you need to. Those are the details. God is up to something amazing, I'm telling you. Um, like you know, um, our Potter Court branch got a warehouse. Um, is, it wasn't an outright purchase, it was a lease. I believe that we can have a lease to own agreements sooner or later. 
No, but it just gives them more space, more room. And then our Abuja church just got a massive land. How big is that one? 3.7 acres, right? Hectares. All right. God is amazing. This year, not to occupy. Hallelujah. You know, and what the Lord is doing corporately, he will do individually. Say loud, amen. Hallelujah. So, um, let's pray. Father, we thank you for everyone giving right now. We ask that you replenish them in the name of Jesus. Come on, say loud, amen. amen. Create for them bigger doors of supply by your wisdom, by kairos, by supernatural opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus, not one giver will not be replenished. In the name of Jesus, every single giver will be replenished over and above and you are bound in this giving grace even more. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. All right. So thank you. I'm going to give a few minutes for that. Um, I think we should also give our offerings. I think we should also give our offerings. So media team, just find somewhere, maybe somewhere else, and put that one. Or you have the details, right? You, you have the details. You should have the details if you are a CCI member. Um, Apostle John, where are you? God bless you. You came from Abuja. Good to see you. Thank you. Please put your hands together for him. Good to have you around. Please be seated. Every minister of the gospel here present, Pastor James, I see you. God bless you. Um, welcome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What will the first program in that place be like? Again, I want to reiterate, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, if I'm not mistaken, that will be the biggest church property in Lagos. And, and that's something massive. That's election of grace, nothing else. Nothing else. Hallelujah. The place we were gone in for, this one is times two. Luau. You know, and, um, and it's all about souls, more space for more people. Hallelujah. Come on, I said praise the Lord. Okay, I, I understand. You're not responding because I'm interrupting. You are giving, Abby. I'm sorry. Yeah, please don't. My family and I were, were going to be a part of this. We did December. We'll do again. You know, some of you can relate. You gave, it was sacrificial December, but the Lord has, <laughs> the Lord has blessed you. You know you can do more. You know, so, uh, let's go again. Amen. Amen. Something for a seraph to ascend over. Amen. A sacrifice for them to ascend over. Lord, for everyone giving offerings, we thank you. We partner with this church so that we're empowered to reach more people, more lives blessed and discipled, all to your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Come and say a loud amen. amen. Have you been blessed tonight? How many of you will go back to the teachings? Um, let me tell you this. I shared with you a great secret tonight. Great secret. Great secret. If you don't use it, God will ask you questions. God will ask you questions. God will ask you questions. Hallelujah. Of course, number six. Number six, there's no need to do a number six. Okay, number five. Is still part of sacrifice. Worship is sacrifice. You know that, right? You want to see angels worship. Worship. Create an atmosphere of worship. 
worshippers command heavy angelic ministry. I can tell you that for a fact. Well, have you been blessed tonight? Yes, sir. Please stand to your feet. Let's praise God one more time. Thank you, Jesus. I see they happen as you talk about bye Thank you. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are great. You are great to be praised. Where is the island drama? Is, is he here? Okay. Please remind me. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not calling him to play. Remind me, I have, I have a word for him. I have, I have a word for him. I just saw that. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for blessing us so lavishly. We say amen to every word that we've received. And we are doers of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we return back to our homes, we return with your blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus. We return extraordinarily favored in the mighty name of Jesus. No accident of any kind for anyone. No mishap of any kind. No robbery in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Have you been blessed? Was deeper worth your while? All right, say with me, we serve God by His Spirit. We boast in Christ Jesus. We put no confidence in the flesh. We experience progress and joy in the faith. Reaching a billion souls in 10,000 cities. Because we are celebrating church in Christ for Christ. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for Deepa Lagos. Thank you, Jesus, for the testimonies that have been recorded. Thank you, Jesus, for the lives that have been transformed. And let me be the first to tell you, congratulations. And we definitely know that you have testimonies already. All you have to do to share your testimonies is click the link in the comment section. We cannot wait to share your testimonies. And if this is your first time joining us online, yes. we'd like to celebrate you specially. In the Celebration Church way. So let us feel the love in the comment section. Should we sing the song? Yes, you can try. Celebration Church. Let's leave it for CCW. Let's leave it for CCW. Let's have it. Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's leave it for CCW. Thank you very much for joining us. It was so much fun doing this with you. Yes, I so much enjoyed doing this with you. I want to cry, but then again, I'm super excited for those online and on site. And I would say congratulations and welcome to a new dispensation. My name is Modukpa Jacobs. And my name is Koyinsola Olukoya.